So, do I have to tell you how broken zoos are? Like, I really don't think I have to tell you how broken zoos are. Zoos are the epitome of broken, and they are still a deck, okay? So, the fact that they got support in Maximum Crisis shows that Konami still cares about them, and also Konami um, kind of doesn't want the deck to die out just yet. So, I mean, well, not in OCG. In an OCG jar. Well, when they got Maximum Crisis in OCG, it was like three months ago, before the OCG ban list and before Link format. But during during the last few days of Arc by format, uh, that's when we're talking about. Like, Konami wanted this deck to stay around, wanted this deck to stay powerful. And uh, this support, it's okay. The only good one is a uh, like a R2 or like, okay, all right, maybe, maybe you play one of the other exceed because it's an exceed and zeus can use exceeds real easily and uh it's another name in the deck but you usually only really need a few of them anyway so i don't really see a real point to this one so yeah so we have Z zodiac uh cluckle um let me check the tcg name for you guys just so you guys don't get confused it shall be called. Drum roll, please. Zudiac Cataroost. All right, not too shabby. Um, so what it does is that uh, if this card is destroyed by a battle or, or by a card effect, target a zoo card in the graveyard, except another copy of itself, or a, a card with its name, and shuffle it into the deck and exceed monster whose original type is Beast Warrior. Um, and use this card's exceed material, gain its effect. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect that targets this card, well, the exceed monster, obviously, you detach one of your exceed material from this card and you get the activation. Uh, I think it's a nice one of, uh, at most. I don't think you need more than one, um, unless you really struggle with getting names, but there's Whiptail, there's Thoroughblade. Uh, we still have Rat at two, we still have Barrage. Um, I don't think you need to worry about playing too many of this guy, so pick up one just in case. Uh, it only stops monster effects from targeting, so um, it's it's uh, it's pretty mediocre. So Zodiac Hammer Kong, uh, which is the first exceed we got. It's normally uh, it's three or, or more level four monsters, but you know every single zoo exceed has the effect where once per turn you can also exceed summon this card by using a a Zodiac monster you control with a different name than this card. So, and any Exceed monsters on that current zoo also become attached to him. So, if you have a Dryden, or, well, I don't know why you put Dryden, a Tiger Mortar, or a Borba, Borbo, or a Broadbull, I mean, I don't know why you would go over Broadbull either. I think you'll go like Borbo into him, or him into Borbo. Like, he would be one of the first ones that you go into. Just, you know, you have one zoo on board, like, one normal main deck zoo on board, and then you just go into him, and then go into another uh, zoo monster on top of him. He's just another name in the extra deck, which is kind of useful, because since they can only really um, do their broken summon way once per turn, <laughs> so to have more, more of them that can do that is actually a lot better. And to have less of them with better effects. So to have more of them with mediocre effects and then a, a few good ones um, is actually pretty good. So uh, I think that's always going to be useful because reading the rest of the, his effect, isn't re he isn't really anything to talk about. Um, he gains the attack and defense um, of the total attack and defense of all zoom monsters attached to it. And while it's cards seems to you, your opponent cannot target other zoom monsters on the field with card effects. I guess he can be used as a Paleozoic counter matchup or to stop like Masterpiece from popping a card, I guess, but that's not going to happen too often. Uh, I guess maybe against True Dracos, you may um, keep him on board just to stop it, any of their chops from destroying your monsters, but they're still going to pop your back row uh, with their spells, so just be wary of that. And once we return to the end phase, detaching seems to from this card. So, uh, if you want him, his effect to stay, keep him with at least two XC materials. 
Um, if not, then just overlay him on top of someone else. Um, or overlay someone else on top of him. Uh, it's not really anything special, but he can help, I guess. And uh, the one everybody was talking about uh, when she was first revealed, Zodiac Laika. Normally, she would require two or more level four monsters. So, I mean, you could summon, you could probably summon her twice uh, per turn, like with with both effects. The fact that she requires two or, uh, two or more. Uh, so once per turn, you can exceed summon this card. You know, the normal Zodiac uh, exceed summon condition. Um, and then uh, she also gains attack, you know, just like all the other Zoo Exceeds. Um, so once per turn, you can detach when you see a from this card. Target a Zoo monster in your graveyard special summon it, but for the rest of the turn, it has its effects negated. Also, it cannot be used as Exceed material for an Exceed summon. So uh, she stops your monster from being used for Exceed. So she, so let's say you bring back a, a rat, right? A, a rat to your, or you bring back a Zoo Exceed. I, I think uh, bringing back a Zoo Exceed would be smarter. So you bring back a, a Zoo Exceed, and uh, for the rest of the turn, it's effects are needed and it can't be used for Exceed. So you just have a Exceed monster uh, uh, in defense mode, because you wouldn't summon it in attack mode. Zero attack, zero defense, uh, can't be used to overlay for another Zoo. What you can do for, uh, do with it is in link format, I, I think Laika is going to be the card that pulls uh, Zoos into link format. So if Zoos aren't um, like, I, Zeus might be hit on the next CCG list, like, the way they were hit in the OCG, and, uh, we may lose, like, Barrage and Dryden and Rat, but at the same time, uh, a card like Laika could still, like, help the deck, because, um, we, we do still have, a uh, Invoker, and we do still have ways to summon Zeus from the deck. We still do, we, we do still have Triple Tenki. I think Tenki was semi-limited. In OCG, so that could be something um, hinder the speed a bit or the consistency a bit, but still, um, in link format, I think Leica is going to help the deck a lot because uh, you can bring back a zoo and then use that zoo for uh, another link summon or just a link summon in general. I mean, I, I think uh, I don't think you're going to go into Leica first. I don't think she's going to be like your go to exceed first. Like you may go. Uh, Boar and then Hammer Kong or Hammer Kong Boar and then Broadbull maybe use Broadbull as effect to detach and search and if it's a rat then you're gonna use uh, his effect to bring out another rat I mean you probably would have done that like um, maybe once you got to Hammer Kong like your your second to exceed you would have done that and then um, after that uh, that's when you're gonna want to go into Link Summon maybe go into Tiger Mortar first. But uh, you go into a Link Summon and then use that one with, with the rat uh, to uh, go into Laika and then Laika can special summon another zoo from the graveyard and then that's when you can do something. Um, I think the, the Link monster zoos are going to use are, is Mrs. Radiant since they're pretty much all Earth types and uh, Mrs. Radiant is the best Earth type Link monster um, right now uh, because of its arrows it has two arrows that are both on your field, so it's definitely very helpful. And uh, yeah, I think Leica just helps a lot with the whole link mechanic. So it's nice to see her get here and now, where we can kind of test her and like use her in all these different strategies, and then she can be adopted into the link strategy. And um, I think that's a real nice touch Konami made. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I guess that's all. Uh, the zoo support, we're getting a maximum crisis. Um, the deck is still going to be very powerful, um, especially here in the TCG. We still have pretty much everything the deck needs um, to be alive. Uh, True Dracos are definitely going to be uh, a problem uh, facing zoos because it's going to be. I haven't seen the matchup yet, so I don't know who exactly wins every duel, but I do know that True Dracos can play domain so it definitely may be hard for zoos to fight that or it may be hard for zoos to uh, make a board that true jacos can't get over because uh zoo boards first turn aren't really like their the only really threat is like maybe two or three back row and like dryden so uh it's not really that threatening um 
I don't know too much about the zoo combos because uh, I don't really use the deck or see the deck played often to really know exactly how um, the zoo combos or how strong the zoo combos can be. Like I know it's like there's all this whole like plus five thing, but um, it, it's it, I haven't looked into it as much as I should have because I don't really play the meta that much. I mean I do still have my dinosaur structure decks, but I don't really play the meta that much. Um, I'm planning to one day, but, uh, right now, I'm just, you know, we're about to go into link format, so let's just wait until that, and then see how that goes, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see, like, where it goes from there, but anyway, enough rambling, uh, rambling <laughs> for this video, this was another Maximum Crisis Dissected, um, if you like these, I guess show your support, um, there's definitely a whole lot more coming, um, so I was going to do like a, a few of the more or less relevant archetypes first, but I, I, I thought to myself and I said, why not just do the meta relevant ones first and then the less relevant ones like for the end, like, like where less people are going to watch or if people watch you're just curious, they already have the cards. It's so most of them are like common, so they can be picked up easily and you know, people can appreciate it, you know, for what they are rather than show it in your face and be like, oh my god, you should look out for this, but, well, not, you should look out for it, but, you know, this is here, but then they're, they're, uh, they're looking another way at, like, what's meta-relevant, and I'm not talking about what's meta-relevant first, so, yeah, I'm gonna try to stick to the meta-relevant cards first, and then move on to the less meta-relevant stuff in the set, uh, when doing this, uh, review thing, so, anyway, yeah, um, last time, this was Nisho here. Peace.